Today, April 22nd, is Earth Day. A time to appreciate our planet and the two-way relationship we have with it. It's easy to take Earth for granted since we see it every day. It becomes it is part of life's background. But when you see the world through the eyes of science, nothing is mundane. We live on the surface of this great giant space-born water-laden spinning rock, separated from the rest of the universe, beneath a thin veil of nitrogen and oxygen molecules. Even though you're immersed in its influence, what do you really know about the Earth? Here are some Earth Day facts about our planet for you to ponder today. All 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.091 seconds of it, that is. 1. There are a lot of different ways to measure how long it takes the Earth to go around the Sun, but if you say it takes pi x 10 million seconds, you'll only be off by a half a percent. 2. The Earth has a volume of about 1 trillion cubic kilometers. Can you picture a cube 1,000 meters high, 1,000 meters deep, 1,000 meters across? Now picture a trillion of them. That's the Earth. 3. The Earth has a mass of 6 sextillion kilograms, or, if you prefer, 6 sextillion tons. And pounds, that's actually zero. Nothing. Mass is a measure of how much stuff an object contains, but weight is how hard gravity pulls on that mass the Earth is in space, orbiting the Sun, so it's in free fall. It has mass, but no weight at all. 4. The Earth isn't a perfect sphere. It spins, so it's a flattened at the poles a little bit. The diameter through the poles is 12,713.6 kilometers, 7,882.4 miles, but it's 12,756.2 kilometers, 7,908.8 miles, through the equator. That difference of 43 kilometers is only about 0.3%, though, so really we are pretty close to a perfect sphere. 5. Not only is it flattened, but the gravitational forces of the sun and moon, what we call tides, distort its shape even more, pulling bulges out from it. The earth is lumpy. Out in the deep ocean, the bulge of water due to the sun and moon can have an amplitude, change in height from minimum to maximum, of about a meter, 40 inches. The solid earth deforms due to the tides, too, with an amplitude of roughly 50 centimeters, 20 inches. Even the air is affected by tides, though there are several factors that greatly complicate it, like expansion due to heating from the sun during the day, and, simply, weather. 6. There is no physical place where Earth's atmosphere stops and space begins. The air just gets thinner and thinner and eventually fades away. But we love definitions, so the official height above the Earth's surface considered to be where space begins called the Kármán line is at an altitude of 100 kilometers. Anyone who gets higher than that is considered an astronaut. 7. The Moon's radius is about 1 slash 4, that of the Earth's, making it the largest satellite compared to its parent planet. Charon, Pluto's biggest moon, is about half the diameter of Pluto itself. So if you don't consider Pluto a planet, the Earth and Moon win.